Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and hockey is back. Hockey is on its way back in real life, and not only in real life, but it's going to be back on the Sportsman Z channel. Occasionally, I will now have my hockey games will be put up. Um, I will put up hockey games for your enjoyment. Uh, sometimes I will do, every once in a while, I'll do a card and dice uh, version, but um, more often it's going to be the computer because the computer is easier, it's quicker, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anybody that knows the games knows that it would be easier and quicker to put a computer game up. So, uh, that having been said, my Islanders are going to take on the New York Rangers in this particular game. I'm going to have a game between the Rangers and the Islanders of last year. So let's do, let's go up here to game, a uh, new unscheduled game. Uh, we are going to, uh, we're going to be the um, home team and the Rangers are going to be the visitors. So we'll make them the visitors. And we will make them the computer. And uh, we're going to go get this the uh, league and the Islanders. And I am going to do uh, computer lines and human decisions. And he is a computer. I think we're all set now. And let's go. And there you can see... Uh, yeah. Let me just make sure. I think the sound is off. But we will. We'll go with that. So, there you go. Um, and I don't have the player faces or images because... I had to save space on my computer. I had wiped out my entire previous, all my files from the previous years. So I've only got this year's game, which I had newly uh, uploaded. And, um, the, and the only reason I even have the logos up is because I just put the logos in for the Islanders and the uh, Rangers. But we're not going to have player images. We're just going to have these generic cards. So, uh, with that having been said, let's get on with the game. And Parisi now has it. He takes it from Vetrano. And now Cop takes it from Lee. And now Cop has it for the Rangers. And now Lee has it back. It's kind of like a tennis game so far. And there's going to be a shot by Strom on Ila Sorokin. And that's going to be a rebound and defensive right defenseman if he's a three, but he wasn't. So Lindgren takes it, and he will have a shot, I am assuming. And that will be a uh, lose to the defensive left defenseman. So our left defenseman should have it, and that is... Chara, and he's going to lose to opponent, and Truba now has the puck for the Rangers, and now Ch Ch Chittle, Chittle. I don't know how that name is pronounced, 
but it looks like he's got an outside shot, and Sorokin uh, knocks it to the side, and it is a, it is indeed a save, and the right defenseman for our team will have it, and that's Pulak. So Pulak has it. Um, and uh, the puck is taken away by Kevin Miller, or Keandre Miller, and he has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Sorokin. We are not taking control of this game and getting into their end. It's all them. It's all the Rangers so far. So Casey Sezikis uh, loses the puck, and he's going to allow an outside shot. The player tried to penetrate and couldn't get inside. So we should have it. We do with Zach Parisi. He was a very big disappointment, I think, for my, for my Islanders last year. Uh, but he, uh, let's see what happens here. Possible penalty, no penalty. So I don't really know who has it right now, though. Okay, Braun has it back, the defenseman for the Rangers. Passing B. And now Nemeth has it for the Rangers. 13.48 left in the first period. We have no shots on goal, and he has two. Andy Green has the option to intimidate Andrew Kopp. I'll take that at 40%. That's a pretty good shot. Um, Green rams him in a bone-jarring hit. No penalty, and we should have the puck, right? And we do. Andy Green does have it. Um, cop needs to check his fillings. He does indeed. And now Green with the puck. 13.22 left in the first. And uh, he loses the puck to um, Fox for the Rangers. And it says Jean Gabriel Prajot has the option to intimidate Philip Chittle. Chittle. <laughs> I'm going to say yes because it's a 60% chance of intimidation. Um, but Chittle gets past him and gets in for an inside shot. And the result is going to be a uh, save and the defensive right defenseman for us. We'll pick it up, and that's going to be Dobson. And uh, now we've got the puck. Let's see what if, if we can get in the other end. And I mean, because now we're being outshot 3 nothing. We don't have a shot yet. And uh, I don't know if you know much about hockey, but you can't win if you don't shoot. So they got an outside shot. And uh, that is going to be a save, and the defensive center has it, and that's Sezikis. So now Sezikis has the puck for us. Um, uh, it, it would be nice if we could get work it in and get it. You know, of course, really, the Islanders are not really an offensive juggernaut. They were a defense-first team, and uh, they would – play off your mistakes okay so let's see i can give this puck to oh wait a minute select a player for possession right now i want to possess i want somebody who is a well no not matt martin i want somebody who is across from the highest rated penalty guy that the worst penalty guy for him that i can get um that's clutterbuck although clutterbuck and martin are both penalty guys themselves so that might be that might backfire on me but uh we'll see 
10.56 left in the first period. We're being outshot 5 nothing, and now Hunt has an outside shot for the Rangers. And that is deflected away. Sorokin makes the save. And now Parisi has the puck. Outside shot for any player. It looks like we're going to get our first shot. All right, um, we're going to go with, yeah, Brock Nelson. He's a good one, I guess. Um, outside shot for Brock Nelson. And that's going to be a five goalie rating, and it's saved by Shazerskin. I can't pronounce, you know, I can't pronounce. I've heard the hockey guy pronounce that guy's name a lot. I just can't pronounce it. So Truba now has it for the Rangers. And, uh, oh, all right. Zeno Chara has an outside shot option. I'm going to pass it with him because his shot option is bad. Inside shot for any player. Nice. Uh, no, we're going to go Brock Nelson again. Let's go Brock Nelson. And Brock Nelson with the inside shot. And it's going to be a save by Shazirkin. Shazirkin. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name. Oh, uh, wait. We've got a uh, something. No, nope, it's another save for him. I guess we had a rebound shot. So Truba has the rebound for the Rangers. And with 9.14 left, we're now being outshot 6-3. At least we're closing the gap in the shots. And it is still tied, even though we are definitely being outplayed at this point. And there's a heavy hit on Chara. And uh, Miller has the puck for the Rangers. I guess they took it away from Chara. Outside shot only for Pulak. And he will take it. We'll take what we can get. Was that a goal? It was a goal for the Islanders. And we're ahead one nothing on an outside shot by Pollock. Amazing. So that's going to be sweet. Yes, indeed. And so that was Pollock from Palmieri and Barzal. So... Our Islanders have a one nothing lead, at least my Islanders. I don't know if anybody watching here is a Rangers fan or an indifferent, but we have a one nothing lead. We're being outshot 6-4, but with 8.47 in the first period, we're ahead one nothing, and Andy Green has the puck. Um, the Rangers, or uh, the, uh, Ra well, the Rangers actually had a surprisingly good year last year. They were very good. But, oh, whoa, 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 what is this? An inside shot from Wallstrom, possibly? And that is going to be a goalie rating, and it's going to be a goal! That looks like a goal for the Islanders. We're ahead 2-0. We're taking them down. Taking them down. So, yeah, 2 nothing. As I was saying, the Rangers last year were uh they had a surprisingly good year that's going to be oliver wallstrom from bel Be bolivier and uh and pajot so um yeah they were surprisingly good the islanders however were not as good as in the past because i think last year was the year we either missed the playoffs or we got, I think we missed, yeah, we missed the playoffs because they were just over 500. They were a just over 500 team. But the year before that, we had gone to the conference championship game. So it was a big letdown for the Islanders. You got Patrick Nemeth with an outside shot. And uh, let's see if uh, Sizor, Shiz, um, Sorokin can knock it away, and he does. And Matt Martin has it. He's our left left wing at the moment. And we're being now we're being outshot 7-5. We're closing the gap there, but we're ahead 2 nothing. That's the most important thing. Patrick Nemeth again with an outside shot. He's uh he's kind of uh I mean, he's going after it. 
So, yeah, Sezikis, there was a save, and now Sezikis has the puck for us, for the Islanders. 6.31 left in the first uh, period. So, yeah, it was a disappointing year for the Islanders last year. I'm looking for a better year this year, although uh, with their coach having left, I don't like our odds because um, he had a good system. I think the Islanders, the reason that the Islanders were as good as they were I think was uh, because of Trotz's system, his system. And uh, without the system, now he did have, the new coach is a guy that was an assistant under Trotz. Yeah, I'm going to take the intimidation. But, um, you know, a guy who worked under the system, it seems, never really does it quite as well, never runs it as well as the original guy. So I can se select a player for possession. They're all Ds, so I'm just going to give it to Bailey, Josh Bailey, and see if he can work it into the Rangers' end and get a goal from it. So, yeah, let's uh, the next action. 5-16 left in the first period. So um, Inside shot for left wing intimidation. Parisi was sandwiched, so it doesn't look like he uh, is going to have that shot. And uh, so uh, Cop has the puck for the Rangers. Andrew Cop. He's looking, spots an open man. And we are going to try to intimidate for sure. 50%. I like that odd, but it doesn't happen. And Strom is, insi is inside. I think he's probably inside. Inside shot for Strom. And it is going to be a save by Sorokin. And Anders Lee comes up with the puck for us, for the Islanders. 4.14 left in the first period. And so we're looking forward, I am looking forward to this year. We'll see how the uh, the uh, former assistant under Trotz, I forget the guy's name. Um, and we'll see how he does as the coach. And Truba, there was a long pass and Truba got inside and has a shot on goal. And that's going to be a rebound and offensive left defenseman will get it. And that's Miller. And he gets a nine, which is uh, going to be a law lose to the right wing, and that's Wallstrom. So now Wallstrom has it for us. Time is ticking down here in the first period. Two fifty six left. Uh, shots are nine to five. Rangers player penetrated. So Lafreniere Lafrené has an inside shot. And that is going to be a save by Sorokin. Sorokin is saving our butts here. I mean, because we're being outshot 10 to 5. And we're really a 2 to 1 ratio. So, uh, and there's a penalty. Looks like there's a penalty. And it is going to be on them. Dryden Hunt is going to the box. He's going to the sin bin. So we got a power play now. Now this is where the Islanders make their hay in real life. Is off of... Um, off of power play chances. Um, so, and that's where we're going to have to hope we do it now, although we do have a 2 nothing lead. So, all right. Uh, Pellick has an outside shot option. He's great at passing, though, so I'm going to pass it. And inside shot for the right wing, Wallstrom, who already has a goal. And he is going to have the outside shot, or the inside shot. And it's going to be a rebound, looks like. And the rebound is going to go to them. So Fox has it. Fox for the Rangers has the puck. And let's go to Anders Lee. Yeah, let's give the puck to Anders Lee. And he has a I'm gonna I'm gonna pass with him too. Inside shot for left wing, which is Wallstrom. 
And Wallstrom is going to have another inside shot. He already has a goal today. Let's see if he can expand on that. He can't. It's going to be a save by Shazirkin. And uh, Goodru, Goodrow, Good, Goodrow, Goodbro has the puck. Man, hockey names. I'm telling you. So the Rangers have the puck with 2.02 left in the first. It's 10 7. And Dobson will have an outside shot for us. And uh, that's going to be, uh, yeah, I'm going to deflect the shot with Lee. Let's see if he can score on that. And it looks like it's going to be a goal plus three. And it looks like it's a goal and puts us up three nothing. So the uh, Islanders are up three nothing. We're smoking the Rangers, smoking them. I'm going to say it. So that was Anders Lee from Dobson and Nelson. So teams back to even strength, a minute 36 left in the first period, and we have a commanding 3 nothing lead because, as I mentioned earlier, the Islanders are a mainly defensive team. They play a tough defense. They play the 21st century uh, version of the left-wing lock or whatever they used to call that, uh, that, the, uh, that the New Jersey Devils used to, uh, used to play. Um, I don't remember what it was called, but it was. Uh... All right. I'm, you know what? I'm just going to shoot because he doesn't have a lot of good chances of anything. And Andy Green was not a scoring uh, phenom. So let's see what he's going to come up with. It's going to be a lose to the defensive center. Shazirkin makes the save, and Zabinadad has the puck. They're down 3 nothing. they got to put something together quickly. Um, and we're still being outshot, 10-8. But Nelson now, Brock Nelson has an outside shot. Let's see what he can do with that. It's going to be a save by Shazirkin and... That is the end of the first period. So we're going to the second period up 3 nothing, And we are, as I said, a great defensive team. So I expect that we're probably going to put this one away, but we will see. So Adam Fox has the puck for the Rangers. Also, in I want to mention in... Um, in future videos, I will. I forgot to make the action speed up a little faster than this. So I will make the action speed up a little quicker than what it is right here. So the videos in the future, they won't be quite as long. But you know what? This is the first hockey game for a while on my channel. So let's do it that way. Brock Nelson with an outside shot option. He's pretty good at passing. I'll try to pass it. No, he loses puck to the opponent. So, in the future, the games will be, the videos will be a little quicker. Watch. Uh, Strom comes up with it for the Rangers. But, um, I mean, unless you guys like it, this slow, um, you know, kind of slow uh, pace. But I can quicken it up, I think. So, Fox has an inside shot. He's going to get a rebound. So it'll be a save by Sorokin and a rebound, and let's see what happens with the rebound. Offensive left defenseman if he's a two, but he wasn't, so Dobson has it for us. 17.59 uh, mark of the second period. Now we're only being outshot 11-9, but we're, like I said, we're up big on the scoreboard at 3-0. Miller has it for the Rangers. And uh, let's see what happens with Keandre Miller. He looks like he's going to try to pass. And Truba, no. So Bolivier took the puck away and has an inside shot right on their doorstep. There's going to be a rebound. Let's see if we can pick up the rebound. I mean, I, you know, I want more. I want more. Any offensive player, nice. Um, we're going to give it to ba Pajot. Let's try Pajot with the inside shot and see what happens with that. 
No, that's got to be a lot of good stuff. Nah, no, it's going to be a save, and the right wing is going to come up with it for the Rangers. Man, do you see all those goalie ratings? I couldn't hit one of them. All right, so we got good row of the Rangers with the puck. The Rangers in control, 647 of the second period we are in. And I, yeah, and I've got to get into the into the um, knack of you know calling these hockey games too, because it's been a while since I've even played or announced or done anything for a hockey game. Wallstrom with an inside shot on Shazirkin, right on top of him. You might even say that's not going to be a goal. Shazirkin will have the save, and it's going to go to the right wing for the Rangers. Though it, you probably have noticed that the announcing has picked up a little bit since the start of the game it was a little sluggish coming out of the uh, coming out of the uh, gates. But all right, Matt Martin takes the puck away, and now he has it. Uh, opponent defense is going to be checked. Outside shot only for Reeves. Reeves with an outside shot for the Rangers. And is that going to be a goalie rating? No, it's not. It's going to be a save, and the right defenseman for our Islanders will come away with it. Mayfield has it. We're up 3 nothing. Now the shots are tied. We came roaring back. In fact, offensively, really, this is a better, this is a better showing than I think really the, the real-life Islanders put up a lot of the time. I'm going to say no. No intimidation. It's 25%. Got a three-goal lead, and I don't want to take a chance on a uh, stupid penalty. So Kreider is inside and he gets a six with Sorokin. That's a save. And it's going to be a face off to the left of Sorokin. And we'll see who comes away with it um, out of this scrum. Right feet, uh, the uh, right wing, not the right fielder, the right wing, and that is. Josh Bailey for us. Um, and they take, looks like they're going to take the puck away and have an outside shot. And they're going to penetrate inside with the puck with Kreider. So Kreider's going to have an inside shot. And man, that's a lot of, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it looks like that's a good chance of being a goal. And it is. So Sorokin gives up the first goal of the game uh, to the Rangers. But the Rangers are still down 3-1, and that was Chris Kreider with assists from Zabinajad and Justin Braun. So it's 3-1, to one, this good defensive team. Are they starting to fall apart? I would say no, but it's 14-26 the second period, so there's still a lot of hockey to play in this one. Um, and we'll see. Let's see. Home any. I'm going to give it to Paul Mary. Let's give the puck to Paul Mary. So, and there's, and this has been a pretty clean game too. There's only been one penalty and that was by the Rangers. So we'll see what we can do with it. Passing a inside shot for left wing with the intimidation chance. And he takes the puck away, possible penalty, a 14. There's no penalty on the play. So the Rangers are going to have, no, no. Anders Lee has an inside shot. So let's see if we can uh, make some capitalization on this. Nope, it's going to be a lose to the left wing. So Shazirkin, uh well, actually the left wing just came in and took the puck away. So the Rangers have the puck. Um, uh, they have a shot lead again now, 14-12, but they're losing on the scoreboard, and that's where it counts, fans. And Palmieri took the puck away and has an inside shot on Shazirkin. And uh, that's going to be a five, and it's going to be a save by Shazirkin, and they will, the Rangers will have the puck. Shittle, chittle, has <laughs> the has the puck, and uh, it looks like we took the puck away, and we do, and we did with Pajot, and we have an outside shot with Pajot. And 11, that 11 keeps coming up. So that's going to be not a goal. And Lindgren is going to have the puck for the Rangers. 12.05 here in the second period. Um, 
we have a chance to intimidate at 35 percent percent and with our lead getting smaller i will do i'll try that and it works and dobson comes away with the puck so dobson has the puck but they take the puck away it looks like and we're going to um we're i'm going to try to intimidate at 50 percent certainly but it didn't work and Lindgren has an inside shot. Doesn't look like that's a great chance. Roken makes the save. And Dobson comes up with the puck. The Battle of New York here. The Islanders and the Rangers. And uh, let's see here. Lindgren uh, must pass instead. Lose puck, defensive right wing has control. So that should be, that should give it to us. Clutterbuck. No, well, Bailey, because there was a line change. So with the shots tied at 14 apiece and us up 3-1 with 10-22 in the second period. We're about halfway through the game right now. Um, Parisi is plastered and he loses the puck to Vetrano for the Rangers. So the Rangers now have control. 9.57 left in the second. And the Islanders beating the Rangers. That's right. Islanders beating the Rangers. 3-1. to one. Uh, Brock Nelson has an option to intimidate Zabinijad at 40%. I'm going to take that shot. And Zabinijad um, gets him off and uh, gets inside. Let's see what happens with that. It's going to be a lose to the fence. It's going to be a save. And the left defenseman, our left defenseman, will come up with it. Sorokin kicks it out. And Chara has it. Chara, the big man, the big oak tree-like big man on the ice. And, uh, yeah, the Rangers have their second penalty. Truba, two-minute penalty. So... This is a chance to try to get that three run or that three not. Why do I keep slipping back to baseball? That three goal lead back. Uh, right now it's two goals. The lead is we're up three to one. But let's see what happens with the faceoff down in the Rangers end. A pretty key one. We came away with it. Dobson has the puck. I I'm gonna. He's really good at passing. Seventy two percent passing. So going to be an inside shot for the center with the intimidation possibility from the right defenseman and uh it, it doesn't work and brock nelson has an inside shot and is he going to come up big no he is not it's going to be a save by shizurkin and uh the right i think the right wing and the right wing has the puck 9 14 left it's a 15 15 shot but we're up three to one. Goodrow though has an inside shot. This could be a, sh a shorthanded goal. There's a rebound, and offensive left defenseman if he's a two, and he apparently wasn't. So Dobson has the puck for us, and uh, we still have the two goal lead here at the eight eighteen mark of the second or the second period. Yep. And uh, Wallstrom is forced off the puck, and so Lindgren has it for the Rangers. And uh, they tried to skate with it, and they failed to skate. That should give us the puck down in their end with a chance to score again. Uh, select the player for the shot. I'm going to say, let's go with Brock Nelson. Going to take it. Brock Nelson, uh, successful pass. You know what? I'm going to try to penetrate with Brock Nelson. And he did penetrate. He got inside. So let's see if he can get the goal. Brock Nelson from inside, right in front of Shazirkin's face. He's a fire in his face. That's going to be a rebound. And uh, let's see if we can get the rebound. We can't. And so Fox has it for the Rangers, 8-13 of the second period. We're up three to one. And uh, I'm noticing about the game really nothing different from last year. So I don't know what the differences were. If anybody does know, leave it in the comments. Oliver Wallstrom has the puck for us. 
because that's who I'm going to give it to, and he's going to pass it. I'm going to say let's let's pass it with Wallstrom. He loses the puck, and the defense has control, the center, but there is no center. So what happens with that? Should be us again, right? It is. Brock Nelson has an outside shot option. I am going to try to penetrate with Brock Nelson. And he did penetrate. He got inside again. So now he's got another inside shot, as he had just a little while ago and did not score on. Let's see what happens this time. Uh, four goalie rating, roll nine. Goal! Brock Nelson! So we have our three goal lead back. We are up four to one. The uh, Islanders are. And that will move. That was Brock Nelson from Anders Lee. Nice connection. So, yeah, we're uh, we're really uh, we're taking the Rangers out behind the woodshed, which I'm kind of surprised at because the Rangers were a much better team last year in 2021. Uh, the 2021-22 season, they were a much better team. So I'm surprised that we're having our way with them, but it, apparently we are. And Mayfield comes away with the puck for the Islanders. And uh, he loses the puck, and Patrick Nemeth has an outside shot, and he is going to lose it to the defensive center. And that is Pajot. So Pajot has the puck 622, uh, of the uh, second period, and we're up 4-1, and that was a stretch pass to Wallstrom. Wallstrom inside, taking a shot. He's already got a goal, but that's not going to be one. So Shazurkin makes the save. They're, I wouldn't be surprised if they pull Shazurkin in the uh, third period, but 548 left in this one right now. And we have taken the lead in shots. We're up 18 to 16 in shots and 4 to 1 on the scoreboard. Um, let's see. Sezikis, yeah, I'll take Sezikis for the shot. He's got an outside shot. And, uh, well, that's not going to be a lot of good shot, uh, <laughs> shot options there. He's going to lose it to the uh, right, well, to save, and the right defenseman comes away with it, and that's Braun of the Rangers, 5-16 of the third period, 5-16 mark, 5-16 left, and Pellick comes away with the puck, takes the puck, and so now the Islanders, our Islanders have possession of it, and uh, we'll have to see what happens. Of course, this is the first game I'm doing for the year, so obviously I would take my favorite team. And I figured, hey, what, what better than to just uh, have the matchup be the, the two New York teams? Um, and Dobson has an outside shot, and that's going to be a save by Shazirkin. And uh, Vetrano, no cop. Cop has the puck for the Rangers. Now we're really pulling away in shots, 20 to 16, and we are way up in goals, if you ask me. 35% chance intimidation, I'll take that. Bone jarring hit, possible penalty, but it looks like no penalty, so we're going to have the puck. And Dobson, Dobson with it. Three minutes left in the second period. And that's going to be another inside shot for us on a stretch pass to Barzal. And that's going to be a goalie rating and a goal. 1-15, to 15 and it's a goal. Barzal, get Shazirkin out of there. Shazirkin's got to be gassed right now. I mean, it's 5-1. We are just easily walking away with this one which is not really good for the video purposes because people are like, okay, we know the Islanders are going to win. Sportsman Z rigged it. All right, I didn't rig it, but Matthew Barzal from Dobson and Palmieri. So we got a 5-1 to one lead. I mean, really, if you play this game 100 times, I don't know how many times the Rangers are going to win the game, but they're not going to have this bad of a showing probably this would have been the one time in a hundred they would have this bad of a showing. Bolivier has it. 
for us. And, uh, man, another, I'm not even doing this. I mean, it's like, all right, so Pollock with an inside shot. And do we get another? No, it's going to be a lose to the right wing. Jazerkin is still out there, but like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they come out with their backup goalie for the third period. Um, and they're just hoping that they can get the locker room for the third period without another goal being scored. 65% intimidation to take the the puck away by Chara. And uh, there is no penalty. And it didn't work, though. So Chittle has an inside shot. And that's going to be a rebound. And who gets it? Any offensive player. So they're going to give it to Truba. So now Truba has a rebound shot. And that's going to be a six, which is going to be a uh, player for possession. Yeah, we're going to have the, we're going to come away with the puck and Bolivier is going to have it. Assuming the line doesn't change, but it did. So now it's going to be Matt Martin with possession of the puck. Uh, with us up 5-1 and only a minute 14 left in the second period. And uh, Rooney, Rooney ha took the puck away, has an outside shot. Principal Rooney. So that's going to be a save in the right wing. Is going to have it for us. Our right wing, and that's going to be Clutterbuck on this line. 46 seconds left in the second period of a game that we have, I'm going to say, sewn up. Because with the defense that the Islanders have, there's no way. All right, I'm just going to take the outside shot. We're at the point right now where we're just going to shoot rubber at the net. Rubber at the net, rubber at the net. That's all you're going to do. You don't really care that much if you score. You just want to keep the puck and keep the pressure up, keep the shots up. And now Braun has it for the Rangers with 14 seconds left in the period. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have to read about what the differences are because as far as the game look, it doesn't look any different. And really, as far as the play, it doesn't look any different. So we go to the next period. They have not taken Shazurkin out. He's still out there. He's given up five goals on 21 shots, and they're going to keep him out there. I don't know about the logic behind that, but, um, you know, uh, who am I to question? what they're doing so Kreider has it for the Rangers off the opening face off of the third period 1931 left in the period in the game uh, and I'm going to say in the game because I don't think we're giving up four goals in one period Zabinajad inside what's he going to come away with it's going to be a goalie rating plus which is nothing because there, it isn't a power play so it's going to be a save by Sorokin and a face-off to his left. And we will go to the face-off circle. Uh, 1931 left in the game. We're up 5-1. We're easily in control of this one. And uh, New York win the Islanders win the draw and Bailey comes away with it. I can't just say New York win the draw because this is New York against New York. Kreider takes the puck away and he has an outside shot and we're going to see what happens on that one and it's going to be a save it looks like and yes it is a save and the right wing is going to come away with it our right wing the islanders right wing and that's palmary in this particular case and uh, they're going to take the puck away it looks like and have an outside shot with their left wing and that's what they exactly what they have with panarin Panarin, I don't know. Was he a little bit of a disappointment last year? I'm not sure. That was a save. I can pick anybody to have it. And I am going to give it to Barzal because he's across from a B penalty. So that's a chance to get another power play. Although there has only been two in this game. Both penalties have been committed by the Rangers, giving us two power plays. That's another hallmark of the Islanders. They didn't go to the box a lot. And when the other team did go to the box, they made them pay um, in real life. And we're just making them pay plain out every day simple here. I mean, we are just doing an ass whooping right here. So uh, 
we've got the puck. Pluck has it for us. Uh, shots are fairly even at 21-22 with 16.44 left in the game. And Miller with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save. And I'm going to give it to... Who am I giving it to? I'm going to give it to Chara. Let's give it to Chara. He's across from a C penalty guy. And so Chara has the puck. Inside shot for right defenseman. Uh, probably... No, us. All right, so Pollock has an inside shot. A nice stretch pass there. And let's see what he can do with it. Can he do anything with it? Goalie rating, and the goalie rating is going to result in a face-off. So we're going to have a face-off in the Rangers' end as Shazurkin does make the save. So let's take a look at the face-off. And, you know, it, it, the thing about this is I would like it to go a little faster. I would like the pace of the game to go a little faster than this. Although it is nice, you know, kind of a leisurely stroll in the park where the Islanders whoop ass on their crosstown rivals. Um, Parisi, I am going to try to pass with the puck. Really probably should not be playing games. I should just be shooting rubber at the puck at the net. But he got it through on the he got the pass through to Bailey. And so let's see what Bailey can do with it. And there's going to be a rebound. That shot is going to result in a rebound, and let's see what happens as a result of that. The their right defenseman is going to come away with it, and that's uh Jacob Truba. So now he has the puck. Shot still even at twenty three apiece. But my Islanders up five to one. And so let's see, who am I going to give this to? Oh, wait a minute. The, the shot. I'm going to give the shot to Bailey. Let's give it to Bailey, although he really isn't a shot guy. He's more of a passing guy. He's more of a playmaker, not a, uh, not a goal scorer. But really, that's what the, rain, the Islanders are full of. So let's see, that's going to be a lose to any player that he chooses, 5 15 35 mark of the third period. And we are uh, up 5 to 1, and Strom has it for the Rangers. Ryan Strom with it. And uh, I'm going to try to take, I'll try to take the puck away. I mean, at this point, I don't think there's anything much he can do, so I might as well just. Try to keep him off Sorokin's back. Panarin with an inside shot because we couldn't intimidate him off the puck. Goalie rating, two, and that is going to be a save by Sorokin. Probably a face-off, and it is. And so up 5-1 with 15 minutes left in the uh, third period. Looking good for the Islanders. And Panarin gets the puck off the faceoff, and he has an inside shot immediately. They need a goal right here, pretty much. They can't be fooling around. You fooled around long enough. And that is going to be a save, and I will have my choice of either defenseman to give it to, and I will give it to Dobson. Why not? I mean, you know. I don't think I can make a bad decision at this point. Dobson has the puck for us. Um, I also don't play now. I am in a competitive league where I play against other guys. They usually set it up kind of like this, although it's usually set up to go way faster so that you can play a game really quickly. I do like to slow it down a little bit. There's going to be an inside shot by Lindgren, by the way. I like to slow the action down a little bit, but this is, I think, a little slower than what I'm used to and what I like. But I don't like it where it's like the pinball action and everything goes everywhere. And also when I play, I don't do the line changes myself. I let the computer handle the line changes because I end up with guys that are gassed all the time. All right, so Wolstrom has an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate. I mean, what the heck? Let's try to penetrate. And he did. Wallstrom got inside. So let's see if he can score his second goal of the game. 
And I would say put this one away, but it is put away already. Um, but that's going to be a save by Shazirkin, and their, one of their defensemen will come up with it. And that's going to be Fox. Fox has it 13-19 left in the game. And Adam Fox is going to end up with it. Um, we're going to try to take the puck away. Why not? I mean, it doesn't, like I said, it can't really be a bad decision. Goudreau ended up with the puck on an inside shot for the Rangers. And uh, that's going to be a 9. Goalie rating, 8. And that's going to be a goal for the Rangers. Look out, the Rangers are coming back. No, they're not. 13-19 left. That was a Barclay Goodrow goal from Adam Fox and Ryan Lindgren. But they're still down by three goals with only 13 minutes left. 13-19. We took a little trip. So, um, yeah, they're not coming back. But... Uh, they are making the game a little better, and that's nice to see. So you got Chara. Anybody that's out there still watching, I commend you because, you know, this game was decided, I think, long ago. But we will see. I mean, we could do a complete collapse. But with the defense, the defensive uh, play of the Islanders, I don't think that's likely. So, Keandre Miller, a crushing hit on Pullock, and he was taken off the play. Miller has the puck still passing B. He loses the puck in an inside shot for the center. And uh, is there going to be a penalty here? Something? No, nope, nothing. So um, the Rangers still have the puck. I don't know how they keep possession through all of this, but they still have the puck. But now they lose it. Dobson has it for us. Three-goal lead with 10.22 left, half a period left in the game. And it's going to be an outside shot for the left wing. They're our left wing. I'm just going to take the shot. Let's just throw rubber at the net and see what happens. Let's do it that way. And that's going to be a uh, save in the defensive center. So save in their center is going to have the puck. That is Shittle. Chittle. <laughs> I don't know. Um, not really that familiar with the Rangers. So um, he passes the puck. And uh, Bolivier has it. So Bolivier with an inside shot, and what's going to happen is we're going to um, it's going to be a save by their goalie, and their center is going to have possession of the puck with 9:48 left in the game. Zabinajad comes away with it. Possible breakaway, and they do have that. Kreider on a breakaway shot. Right, man, look at all those goalie ratings. you gotta, got to gotta feel like it's going to be a goal, but it isn't. It's a face-off. So Sorokin is going to make the great save on Kreider, which I have to imagine was a great save. And there's going to be a face-off in our end to the left of Sorokin. So we still got a three-goal lead with nine minutes left in the game. He is now out shooting us again, 27-26. But that isn't important right now. What's important is we still have a three-goal lead. They tried to get inside, and they couldn't. And so now Pellick has it for us. 8.48 left. And, uh, yeah, let's, well, we'll give it to, uh, we'll give it to Bailey. <laughs> And couldn't knock him off the puck, so Bailey has an inside shot. And that's going to be a goal eight, but it's going to be a 12 result. So it is a save by Shazirkin, and it's going to be a, a face-off to uh, his right. Eight forty-eight left in the game. 
face off in the Rangers end. The Rangers come away with it. Panarin has the puck. Outside shot for the center. Player penetrated inside, so it looks like they'll have an inside shot with Strom. And uh, that's going to result in a save and a left wing for our team. We'll come away with it. And in this case, that's going to be Anders Lee. So Anders Lee has the puck. We are up by three goals with 734 left in the game. And uh, let's see. Successful pass. We'll try to pass the puck. 48%. Inside shot for right wing. These passes are getting through a lot. Barzal with an inside shot on Shazerkin. And uh, what's going to happen is that's going to be a save, and he can decide any player he wants to have the puck with 734 left. And that's going to be Lafreniere that's going to have the puck. Passing A. Outside shot for the center. Let's see if they try to move him inside. And they do, and it's Schittle, and he is inside. <laughs> That's probably not how you pronounce his name, but he has an inside shot. And uh, let's see what he can do with that. Uh, he can't really do a lot. It's going to be uh, any player I choose takes the puck away. And that's going to be uh, Bolivier. Yeah, let's give it to Bolivier. He's across from a C penalty guy. 6.57 left in the game with Bolivier and the, our Islanders in control. Passing E, though. Outside shot for right wing. Um, yeah, we'll just take the shot. I mean, we're just throwing rubber at the net right now. 6.30 left in the game. Up by three goals. Goalie rating plus, but that's just going to be a face-off because there's no penalty right now. And a plus is always like a penalty goal or a, a shorthanded goal. Uh, well, a power play goal when the other team is shorthanded. Um and that wasn't the situation, so we ended up with a face-off. And it looks like their uh, left defenseman is going to have it, Lindgren. Lindgren coming away with the puck. And uh, there's going to be a penalty. And it's probably going to be on us. And it is. It's on Dobson. So Dobson's going to the sin bin, and we are down a man. But there's only 5.54 left, and we still have a three-goal lead. I'm not actually that worried about it. But he does have a power play for two of those last 5.54 uh, for the game. And it looks like their left wing's going to have it. He tries to penetrate inside, and he does. And Kreider is going to have the inside shot off the faceoff. And they are going to come away with a goalie rating and what? A save by either defend. It's the puck is going to be kicked to either defenseman. We'll give it to Pellick. I guess that's a really good choice to give it to. So now Pellick has the puck. And he loses the puck inside shot for right wing. See, usually I have the, and I don't know how to set up the options in this game, but usually I have the option to say, do I want to skate with the puck? Do I want to try to clear it? But anyway, what they're going to end up with here is a face-off, a save by Sorokin and a, and a face-off probably to Sorokin's uh, left. And that is exactly what's going to happen. 537 left in the game. And the third period. Battle for the puck and Kreider comes away with it. He's turning and he got it to somebody, but they failed to get inside. And so Peugeot knocked Kreider out of the way and Peugeot has the puck. 5.04 left. Outside shot. And uh, if that's for us, yeah, I'm just going to take the shot. 
Just take the shot. Just shoot rubber at the net. 5.04 left. We're up by three goals. I don't see him uh, coming away with that. And that's going to be a save by Shazurkin. I don't see him overcoming that kind of a uh, deficit this late in the game. And uh, now Truba has the puck. 4.24 left in the game. Nice stretch pass to Zabinijad, who's going to have an outside shot. And what he is going to end up doing is getting, what, a rebound? Yes, a rebound. And a defensive right wing comes away with it. So that's going to be Palmieri. Palmieri has the puck with 331 left. We're up by three. And uh, I'm going to pass. I'm going to take the uh, pass option, 58%. And uh, they, um, we lost the puck on that. The pass wasn't good. So Panarin now has the puck for the Rangers, who had 259 left. And this isn't too bad. We're closing in a little over an hour for this. And uh, Barzal took the puck away and has an inside shot. Let's see if we can extend that lead. Not that we need to. But uh, goalie rating and save any player. So it was a save, and they can pick whoever they want. But, yeah, not, not too bad on this uh, slowest, you know, slowest. Uh, well, I don't know if this is the slowest the game can go, but it is It's up there as far as how slow it can go. And that's not too bad, getting the game in in an hour. But I will try to put it a little faster in future uh future videos because i know you guys don't want to spend an hour watching a hockey game especially a blowout by the islanders so truba now has the puck for the rangers and uh, i'm going to try to take the puck away might as well don't really have any downside to that and it does work and now pelic has the puck we're in control with a minute 20 left and a three goal lead shots are 31 apiece and uh, they're, they uh, they tried to get inside. They have to. I mean, they have to try to penetrate inside and get good shots. They can't just throw uh, rubber at the net like we can right now. So Bailey has the puck. Two-minute penalty for Chris Kreider of the Rangers. That's their third penalty of the game. And, uh, you know, they're not going to pull the goalie because, I mean, you know, three-goal lead with 42 seconds left in the game. Well, what's the point? Um, so we do have – I'm going to try to penetrate. What the heck, you know, try it. And he does penetrate. So it's going to be Wallstrom with an inside shot. And he already, like I said, he already has a goal today. And that's gonna it looks like it's gonna be a, a rebound and no, it was a it was just a save and uh puck going to the right defenseman, thirty seven seconds left. Successful skate. And yeah, now I mean he's not even I mean he ain't trying. Cause you don't just there you go. That's the game is over. Shots, final shots were 32 to 31 Rangers with the uh, with the lead in shots, but we had the lead on the scoreboard, which is where it counts, 5 to 2. I'll let you take a look at some of the uh, statistics of the uh, players that were out on the ice for the game. Uh, Brock Nelson with seven shots on goal. Chris Kreider with five. Um, and then there's the goalies and... Uh, the stars of the game. First star was Matthew Barzal of the Islanders. Second star was Sorokin, our goaltender. And the third star was Anders Lee. We had all three stars, although that isn't at all surprising. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.